So I slayed the zombies. Um, I've got this dude left, one zombie. And I'm going to show you the train that I've been running. So, back there, as I mentioned before earlier in that tunnel, is probably your best, uh, best place to stop for a real hardcore slay. And you make it right down here past the Juggernaut perk. Um, and there's no mucking around through here, you just got to get to the top of the staircase. They'll start spawning in here. Um, and then you start again. But you got to keep moving. It's very tempting just to sit there and start slaying. As I've killed this dude, I've noticed he's just got more and more smoke coming out of his face, so... So that's always a good thing. Okay, and defeating the zombies starts the round again. So it doesn't pay to take all the zombies out. Get them down to about two or three. Maybe even one. And then take him out from there. <laughs> uh, mistakes of uh, a D Eisendrak noob. It's just gotta keep moving. Just gotta be patient. It's actually not really the big dude I've got to worry about. It's actually the thousands of little dudes. Oh, moves. No mucking around through here. So turn the power on back there. Got to turn the power on to get the jug. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh my gosh. That was so close. I wanted to clear that debris. Almost got caught. Okay, so back down here again. Oi! gonna take a while. I forgot to restock ammo. Things will get real messy if I run out of bullets. Oh yeah. Let's do the trap. Hey, <gasps> oh, that's ridiculous. There you go, Farno. Just under 300 kills. Ah, oh, that sucked. Oh, that's a disappointing finish. the wall it has these attachments see what I mean I don't even play this <sighs> but anyway if 
Oh no. Ranch! I could have kept going. I was confident of getting past that round. Sweet mates. Trip. 